Today I came to Stubel. Stubel has a tradition for fishing boats. There's a good friend of my brother has been building this boat. Tim and his brother, the two gentlemen, they have been building wooden boats since an early age. Obviously great experts. I'll try to show you what's going on. This is a fishing boat to be finished likewise let's go around they don't have many tools here which is quite interesting with a small oven that i'll show you they managed to bend all these parts in perfect shape you can see the boat is very well lined all the parts are perfectly aligned i really like to be in these places the the smell here of wood and even some varnishes or glues or whatever they're using it's just great especially the smell of wood comes out a lot and it's beautiful now let's check inside look at this beauty see how beautiful it is don't underestimate these guys the gentleman was telling me about his portfolio. They're all cool people. They haven't uh, documented any of their work. Still, he, he had two or three pictures of the boat of the king of I don't know where and the prince of I don't know what. They are old style sailing classes. Their owners are super happy getting awards for the beautiful boats they have. Those boats have been either built here, including masts, wooden masts and booms and all spars, or refitted here. Not many. But just enough because there are only two old men as you can see the bow beautifully aligned so now this will be set up as a traditional fishing boat with cranes and everything the other guy will be set up as a boat for them to go out and have fun just real fish and party with friends beautiful art this is real art very impressive how two men put this thing together and they're not super strong or anything they're not gym people they're just two old skinny old men we yeah, just came up this wooden ladder they built for this i must hop this thing is up almost my waist here we are i'll start from the bow you see it's nice square not your usual dining off fresco really and this boat will be used in the Sado river where we filmed that airport launch. And now I'm standing here at the bow and you can see what I'm talking about. They will make a cabin towards the front of the boat. Then there's the engine already sitting there. It's a Mercedes six cylinder, about a thousand kilos weight. The room under the deck towards the after of the boat where he will put water tanks and the diesel tanks where he will put the diesel tanks. He kind of explained to me they're still thinking about the final layout. Isn't this beautiful? Now this is going to be a party boat made by people that know very well what they want in terms of grilled fish, the right wine, the right beer, right temperature for everything. And it will be ready. He told me maybe eight months because they are working on client boats do this when they have a little bit of free time they definitely will put it on the water they have done many of these boats before it's nothing new for them the one for for professional fishing that they are building for a client is not as advanced as this one that already got the deck you can see that they were really into finishing up this boat you can see the type of woodwork i'll show you from this angle See that all the joinery, the cuts, everything is quite perfect. It's really inspiring to see these guys work. There's a kind of tensioner here holding this. Yeah, then it goes outside. Massive thick wood. It's really impressive. And check out the thickness of the deck. It's almost two fingers. It's 
they will create a hole here that it will fill with Sika Flex. They make that on purpose so that the wood can expand and not crack. Now the interesting thing is that they do have some sort of technique they have learned throughout their lives that they manage to do this with almost no space between the woods. So if the hull doesn't take any sort of filling between the woods. And that's what have made these guys famous throughout the years. And that's why there are just a few people in the world that know about them and have been using them to fix their own boats, private people. You already told me a couple. Oh, you see the size of this. This is massive, real bits of wood. That's the Mercedes six-cylinder engine. These are the boats. And the after, under the deck, it's not too high, but it's enough for some storage. So let's see, we'll keep you posted on the, the advancements of these guys. We'll see which one will be ready first. Sou Miguel Ministro, trabalho na Constituição Naval. Só isso. Então, sigam o nosso canal para um dia ganhar uma pescada connosco. É isso. Não é? Pronto. Não tenho, não tenho coisas para... Não, é preciso. Você tem que ver o Ministro. É incrível, você é um artista, um bom sol lá, um bom coração. Mas ele é super, super chato. He was very embarrassed to speak, he just get this phone in front of you. So he ran away because they are working on another boat. Anyway, you see already and know Miguel Ministro. Ministro is his last name, means minister. So he's a minister, he was born to be a minister, and he is. He's a minister, an important entity, a reference of wooden boats. I really hope you enjoyed me. I'll keep coming back and I'll keep you posted to be closer to them. I really like these guys. I admire a lot their work. They understood very well this concept of now we sail. They thought it was quite cute. And this boat very likely will be available for when you raffle to come visit us and stay with us. We'll come and have some fun in this thing. That one will go fishing and we'll grill the fish and have it in here. And I hope you are enjoying our channel. We are still warming up and coming with all these hidden spots of Portugal about sailing and about good life that we will bring to you slowly uh, as we also put our boat in the water and yeah, stay tuned, subscribe we'll start having the raffles very soon and we want to see you here with us Cheers! This is the, the beer left there a bottle of wine that my brother brought for a minister it's not a bribe, it's a friend it's not a politician, just by name. It just happens that this is the oven, I think that's what you can call it, where they bend the wood. I've never seen one of these things in real life. I've seen on YouTube videos. I've seen other ways they do it. Now it's interesting here because it's a wooden box and they have a cylinder with the water that will warm and then the steam goes inside and a piece of wood will stay there cooking. When it's hot and humid and the right temperature that they know how to see, they will bend, put in place and immediately with uh, lots of clamp, they fix it into shape. But of course, before you just cut a piece of wood and put inside one of these things. There is a technique because you have to understand what nature is bringing you in terms of the possibility that this wood will bend or not in the shape you want. I don't really know how to explain that. The gentleman explained to me in Portuguese and it seemed to make sense. The proof is there, it works. So we just let the professionals do work and slowly learn with them.